a leap. Mother's been out for quite a while now. Mm. Perhaps she went to pick some flowers on the way home. You know how she loves flowers. Iris, to leap! I'm home! Mother! You were out for so long, we were beginning to worry about you. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm back now, safe and sound. Here, I brought your favorite treat, apple turnovers. Mother, what are those bruises on your hand? Huh? What bruises? Oh, I must have bumped into something while I was working yesterday. But I didn't notice them this morning. Then perhaps they're from when I accidentally tripped when I was out just now. By the way, did you have fun playing at home? <sighs> What's the matter, Iris? Well, we've realized that no one really wants to play with us. They even took Iris's doll and spat at us. <sighs> and they even called us names. They said we were... Shh, it's all right, don't worry. <sighs> Girls, listen to me. It doesn't matter what anyone says. Don't listen to them. No one can define you with such words. You both have wonderful lives ahead of you. Just like your names, you will both blossom like beautiful flowers. Maybe your time to blossom hasn't quite come yet, but one day, you two will bloom more beautifully than anything else. Don't let the soil you're in now ruin your future beauty, understand? <sighs> My dear daughters. Mother, we're back! Mother? <gasps> What's wrong, Tulip? Iris, stay away! Huh? Why? What's... <gasps> Mother! Mother... <laughs> She's... <laughs> Huh? There's poison in this cup. Huh? I could have sworn I've seen this kind of cup before. <sighs> Those aristocrats. They didn't even try to cover up their actions. <laughs> Iris, we need to leave this place. Leave? But now that Mother is gone, where can we even go? Anywhere. All I know is that we can't stay in this house. <laughs> but are we just going to let them get away with this? We'll have our revenge, I promise you. Just not right now. Come on, let's go. No, wait. We can't just leave Mother here like this. At least... <laughs> at least let me leave this rose with her. That's why we went out in the first place. To buy her this flower. All right. Goodbye, Mother. We'll avenge you. Someday. The view is beautiful tonight. It reminds me of that fateful night ten years ago. Hmm, and now that I've said it, I can even make out the faint fragrance of herbal tea in the air. Enough, villain! It's time that you pay for the death of our mother! My dear Iris, have you forgotten your manners? How can you speak like this to your own father? <sighs> I'd sooner swallow all of my teeth than call you father. What did I expect? Seems the daughters have turned out to be just as obstinate as their foolish mother. 
In this world, Mora and status is everything! She thought she could blackmail me using her children and force me to grant her recognition and concessions? Ah, how naive can a woman be? Mother never asked a single thing of you! All she wished was for us to live a peaceful life, just like the others! It was you who personally brewed the poison of prejudice and sent Mother to her death! Compared to that deadly poison, the two bullets that will soon pierce through your heart will be like sweet mercy! <laughs> and that's exactly why I said you're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? So let's see. What is stronger, Mora and power, or the two muskets in your hands? Get them! To leap! There are too many of them! It'll be okay! We'll cover each other, Iris! And Mother will be watching over us, too! You've lost. <clears throat> to think I'd lose to my own two kids! We are no children of yours, and we'll never call that place our home. <laughs> then tell me, what did you do all this for? You lost your mother, and will soon kill your father as well. What will you gain in the end, other than sentences for your crimes? We will gain our long-awaited justice. It's over. <sighs> Finally, it's over. So, where will you go now, Tulip? I'm not too sure, Iris. Maybe somewhere with lots of flowers? After all, Mother always did love going where the blossoms were. What about you? I... want to go visit Mother's grave. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Huh? Tulip, look! What is it? It's Mother's favorite! The Rainbow Rose! Look! It's blooming again! By the way, have you heard about that recent murder case? Hmm, yes, I have. It seems that they've caused quite the commotion in the city. I heard that the Chief of the Guards is so mad about not catching the culprit that he's about to explode! Oh? I find that quite hard to imagine, considering how he already looks most days.